Hello friend, this is Rupesh and you are watching CBB Nuts video series on design patterns and this is observer design pattern. I already have one video on observer design pattern but the problem with that video is that video is somehow half uh, visible on YouTube after that it just gives some error. So I will be shooting uh, again and this time I will take more intuitive example. So yeah, let's go for it. So what is observer design pattern? So the main analogy is like say you have one process or something is going on here okay and there are like bunch of other different things let's say they are observing that okay so if something goes on here they all want to get notified and depending on that they can take the decision like that decision is not in control of this one this is just kind of an independent job this doesn't care about all these things you're getting the point right so these are like observers this is the subject they are observing this subject cool right now let me take another example my youtube channel example so let's say i have a channel cpp nuts and there are like user one user two user three so they have subscribed to my channel all three users have subscribed to my channel whenever i will upload a video on this cpp nuts and they have subscribed and press the bell icon they all should get notified right so this is the classical example i was talking that i'll give you more intuitive example so you all know that right you are on youtube for quite long time now so you want to subscribe and want to get notified meaning you are observing this channel and you want to get notified whenever something happens on this channel so this is observer design pattern so let's try to understand like how this would have worked we'll go to the code but yeah so if this is the case when i am telling let me remove this so let's say you have user one and user one have subscribed meaning user one entry is somehow available with cpp nuts channel user 2 comes that guy also subscribed i have the entry i mean cpp nuts channel have the entry of u2 also likewise we can have user n and likewise we, i will maintain i mean this channel will maintain these entry so the moment i'll push any video one it will give this is v1 it will iterate on all the list in a for loop kind of fashion and call notify function for all the users so they all will end up getting the notification so that's it now let's look at the code so if you see this code we have three classes here one is subscriber another one is channel and third one is user so user should have some interface so that it can actually use that interface to communicate to the actual channel so this is that subscriber interface which we will be using and creating a vector of all the subscribers now you can see right what's happening channel is maintaining one vector and whenever someone is subscribing that guy is just taking that subscriber object and pushing into this subscriber vector and whenever any upload video action is happening it will just go over all the subscribers and just call notify and send the title or the link of the video correct so just pause the video and try to understand like what is this and if i will show you the driver function which is main function you'll understand a little better so we have channel cpp nuts we created three users ram sham and mohan yeah and then all these users subscribe to the channel and then when cpp nuts is uploading any video let's say observer design pattern is uploaded this upload function is being called here and i'm just calling all the observers let's see what this subscriber did so important point to notice is i am sending all the users address meaning actual users are there so that's what i told right here i will maintain this list this list requires actual object to be received here i cannot have a copy of your object i mean your 
user data and then I will send to that copied data, then it will go to somewhere else. It will not reach to you. Okay. So in order to actually notify to U1, I should have the actual U1. So that's why you see the address of user one, user two and user three. And what is this subscribe doing? Let's check that out. This subscribe is actually pushing whatever object was received inside this vector and that's it. Cool, right? So just look at this whole class and driver function. I mean, main function and don't worry. You will get this whole code in GitHub link. I mean, GitHub and you will get the link. Cool, right? It is way more easier than the previous example, I think. So yeah, I'll sum this video. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next videos. Bye bye. Take care.